All right, it's about 6 a.m. right now. Me and the family are on our way to Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, today we're going to be uh, shopping, picking Atlanta, hitting like thrift stores and places like that, looking for stuff for Ratro, the store I'm opening. Um, and I'm also going to be hunting, investigating a grip of haunted places while I'm there. Uh, some of these places aren't anything crazy, but then again, you never know what we'll see on the way there. So pretty excited and tomorrow I see the Smashing Pumpkins, my most favorite band in the world. I got to see them last year from the Nosebleeds and it was like one of the best days of my life other than having our son Jace. But tomorrow I am front row at the concert and like, I'm so stoked. Jace, are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. What are you most excited about? Um, that swim in a pool. At the hotel, yeah. Yeah. That's all my favorite. Yeah, it's really early in the morning. You're kind of tired, aren't you? And you're picking your nose. <laughs> Anthony, what about you? Are you excited? I'm excited and sleepy. How are you feeling from that thing that we did the other night, dude? You were freaking talking from another time. How, how are you feeling now? I feel not as real as before. Whenever. You feel not as weird as weird before, you little weird guy. <laughs> Whenever I get back, guys, I'm going to be making a video with this haunted painting that I've had for like almost nine years now. This painting has quite the story and quite the energy, so I'll look forward to that. All right, Alicia's finally getting in the car at 6.28 a.m. We are about to hit the road now. Hi, 10 by 10. Sun's coming up. We're on the road. We're on the road again. Got two hats with me. You gotta have the fedora, of course, classic Jody Dean. Uh, then I got a plain black cap with me. Been rocking the plain cap a lot lately. So we just got in downtown Atlanta right now. I'm gonna go find something to eat and then we are going to go look for haunted places. I'm pretty excited, guys. Hey, if you haven't smashed that like button right now, what are you doing? Smash it. I'm just looking on that door right there. It says no open or concealed Bibles allowed on premises. I guess it's a, ba a bar that's called the church. <laughs> Look at these rooms, baby. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Sexual. I am so happy. Apples and pies, apples and pies. Okay, guys, it's like six in the morning right now. I just woke up and we brought the small haunted doll with us here on our trip. I put it on the counter last night. We haven't messed with it. We've all been sleeping. I just woke up to the little fucking thing moving. I almost want to leave like a camera on it to see if it does it again. Wake up and review the footage. Can you do that again, please? Can you do that again?
please move. That's what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to leave a camera on it filming for like 30 minutes. We'll see if we capture anything. Dude, dude, baby shut up. Shut the light over here, shut the light over here. Shut the light. Mm -hmm. It was just fucking moving. It was just fucking moving, dude. You could hear it moving. Son of a bitch. I know you guys had to hear that moving. I can't capture it on camera to save my fucking life, but it definitely was moving. Oh my god, this is crazy, man. Holy fuck a moly. Fucking sausage tits. Have you guys ever fucking shit out hot oatmeal? Son of a bitch, dude. Look, how the hell did that happen, huh? Dude. Look at this shit. You are haunted, aren't you? You little haunted sugar plum. Okay, dude, I finally caught it doing some stuff. Um, you got to hear it the first time. I was keeping my camera, I literally fell asleep with my camera in my hand like three different times. And I was hoping to God to catch, capture something. I finally did. But this thing definitely did move on its own, and it's crazy because technically you would have to wind this thing up in order for it to move. And there was definitely nobody. I mean, Alicia was over there sleeping, and fucking Anthony's over here sleeping, so crazy shit, dude. Um, the smallest haunted doll in the world. What should we name her, guys? I'm thinking about Pickle. It looks like a pickle, huh? Let's see where we'll pick up. Dun dun! <gasps> What's up guys? Jordy D here, Mr. Hunting the Dead Have you ever pooped oatmeal while it was still hot? Okay, so right now I'm heading to John Benet Ramsey's uh plot I'm, I'm heading to her grave we're close to this cemetery we're about 10 minutes away right here no not here okay well you're pointing that way that's well, why I'm trying to look. <laughs> what the hell does that mean Map all right here it is right here Okay guys, we're here, John Benet, Patricia Ramsey's grave. Born August 6, 1990, died December 25th, 1996. Love, purity, and joy. A gift to her family and the world. Home and the peace of God. I wanna do a spirit box session real quick right here. Now there are some people mowing some grass and Alicia and Jace are making a lot of noise, but uh, I'm going to try and uh, get the audio to be as clear as I can for you guys. I want to talk to John Benet Ramsey, beauty queen. We're here to visit you. Will you communicate with us? Can any other spirits here help us communicate with this little girl? Joan Benet, can you tell us what happened to you? We got some males speaking. I'm looking for the voice, the tone of the little girl. 
Joan Benet Ramsey. Is John Benet here? The spirit of John Benet. Whoa! There was a little girl's voice right there. Was that you? Dude, I think she just came through. Can you hear yourself? Oh my god, she's coming through right now. Do you miss your dad? What about your mom? Those are dark forces. John Benet, can you please tell us who was your killer? How did you get in the basement? Who hurt you? Is there anything you can tell us about your death? I got his heart there again. I want to say thank you for communicating with us. I hope you're okay in your spirit life. Many love, much love and many prayers to you, my friend. Lots of people are saddened about your situation and what happened to you. Whoa. Okay, the crazy thing is, is there actually sounded like a little girl speaking quite a few times there. So, um, was that her? I'm not sure. I don't know what her voice sounds like, but that was pretty compelling. I asked for a little girl to speak, and that's what we heard the tone of, was that of a little girl. Here's Jumbinay's sister right here, Elizabeth, and her mother is just over here. Here's her mother, Patricia's headstone right here. So they're all right here under this beautiful tree, which actually a really nice cemetery here. Look how cool this area is over here. That's pretty awesome how they did this. 
All right, guys, that's it. That's the first entry here to my Georgia trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's more to come. Be sure to hit the like button, leave comments below. Be sure to share the videos and grab your Hunting the Dead merch at htd4life.com. And as always, until next time, the most important thing everybody needs to do when they go to bed tonight, you need to have sweet nightmares.